We are going to go ahead and continue our me media availabilities. We're now joined by Chase Elliott, driver of the number nine Napa Auto Parts Chevrolet for Hendrick Motorsports. We'll go ahead and open it up for questions. If you have one, please raise your hand and we'll get to you. We'll start in the back with Bob. And then go to Dan. I have a question first. Bob, I, you're always first, but everybody raises their hand at the same time. I don't, I'm not in charge. You have to ask. I understand. I'm just curious. I've always you know, wondered that. Um, Anyways, go so ahead. Maybe they, uh, I'm not. We'll just start with questions. <laughs> just go. <laughs> go Bob, ahead. just go. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. Um, I'm curious, A, if you talked to Alex, and B, I'm also curious, what do you get out of racing something else besides a cup car that makes, that would make the argument for, hey, we need to continue to be able to race outside? Here. Yeah, I, I have talked to Alex, and, you know, look, I know he's bummed, um, but I, I, I think that he uh, – it could have been a lot worse, right? You know, so I, 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 for me, number one, I'm just thankful that you know, he, he's in a position where um, he's going to be able to get back to, to the team and, and be able to contribute 100% as he was before. Um, so to me, just his, his health – Really, first and foremost, I know he's bummed and, and he's probably not feeling good, but um, I'm looking forward to you know looking forward to having him back, and I think that's a that's a big deal. As for what you get out of it, I think that depends on who you are, and I think that depends on your outlook on on what you enjoy doing and and uh, what makes you happy. Alex enjoys racing sprint cars, and he likes uh, he likes building his cars and drift cars and midgets and going and, and racing that stuff and that's a passion of his and um you know so I, I think for that reason it's meaningful to him and i think that probably changes per who the individual is and and what your outlook on on things are but i i think uh you know for him he he seems to really enjoy all aspects of that stuff i think it's 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 a bit of his getaway and i think that's important and um, how much concern is there on your end about what happened with the five car last week and the way the passenger side collapsed and the door bars coming in? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I think it, you know, it's not great, right? I mean, at the end of the day, you look at that thing. I, I, I haven't seen it in person. We, we, uh, we tested Loudon this week. I wasn't at the shop um, on, on Monday, but... Um, from from what I've heard and the pictures that I've seen, certainly a, a bit concerning um, on a multitude of levels. So I, I I'm disappointed in that um, personally. You know, last year it was like, well, we're not. You know, the the softer hits were a problem, but you know that's in in uh, preparation for a bigger hit being covered um and they from the data that i heard he was only doing 130 so what happens if he's doing 180 or 160. um so yeah i, I definitely think that's concerning but i also think probably more of a, of a conversation on how to move forward outside of outside of this room and and um you know we'll, we'll get it better where where we can be productive on it and and uh, not just sit here and run my mouth we'll go to dan and then to marty uh, Dan Galston, Associated Press. Hey, Kyle, Jeff Andrews was just in here, and he said, you know, one, accident is, you know, bad. Two, extracurricular activity accidents is not great. He said maybe there's a chance in the future they, he might have to look at what you guys do, whether it's racing or other activities. How concerned are you that there could be a change in what you guys are allowed to do, either personally in racing, and how might it affect you if they have to go forward with those kind of uh, changes? Yeah, I, you know, I, I really don't see – I really don't see it changing. I, I I think that it's obviously very very poor timing with where I was at and and just coming back and and obviously Alex being hurt this week. I mean, look, I get it. It's it's a bad look. I, I totally understand that. Um, but also, I understand that there there is a timing piece of that, and it's just really poor timing. I mean, I I I think if if one happened this year and the other happen next year will we be having the same conversation probably not you know really um you know i, I think them being back to back like that makes it look a little worse than uh than the reality we'll go to marty and then nathan 
Marty Sakala, Rock Sports Net Race Pro Weekly. Chase, obviously you come in as the defending winner. Um, how much do you use from last year with the same aero package, I believe, that you move forward to this weekend? Yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I don't even know what aero package it is and <laughs> what it isn't anymore. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I certainly I'm, – I'm sure the car is going to drive different just because at this point last year – there was still a lot of learning going on and not that there's not still a lot of learning going on now but i do think that people really progressed a lot through the second half of the season um so i anticipate it's going to feel different and and the car might have some different tendencies but it's still going to be dover and it's still going to have those those characteristics that come along with with being at this racetrack and and racing here um so i don't anticipate that changing a, a ton um, but we'll see. You know, it's been it's been a year since we've been here, and and uh, obviously a lot a lot can happen in, in that amount of time. So we'll get on track and kind of see where we stack up and go from there. And then last night, did I see that you were at Albany Saratoga Speedway in New York? And if so, did you enjoy it? Uh, no, I was not. I was uh, I was doing a I was visiting a, a Napa store in uh, in Boston Spa, Saratoga Springs area. So. Yeah. We'll go to Nathan and we'll go right next to him after that. Nathan's on with the podium finish. Chase, just wanted to check in on how the leg is doing. And then you mentioned the tire test this week up at Loudon. Does doing those extra laps and getting those extra reps kind of help you build back that strength in the leg? Yeah, I feel, you know, I feel fine. I'm not, you know, going on runs or doing sprinting drills, but, you know, I, I feel fine. Uh, I don't, I don't feel like it impacts me in the car at this point. You know, really, I didn't. I didn't think it impacted me at the car in the car at Martinsville either, and and I'm certainly better than I was than I was then. So you know, it's just one of those things. You're gonna have you're gonna have good days. You're gonna have days where you don't get around great. You know, um, that's just that's gonna be part of it here for a little while, I think. But yeah, I think those extra reps are good, and um, you know, we made a lot of laps. So that, you know, and I felt I felt fine uh, there on both days and then the day after you know yesterday being out of the car so uh yeah i, f I feel feel good and i uh, just ready to keep pushing forward david hoffman speed sport uh chase just where do you feel your package is at just with you know not only here this weekend but going forward just confidence wise um well for me personally i'm just kind of getting back uh really and truly i mean obviously our uh, the HMS as a, as a company has had a lot of success, you know, when I was gone, I felt like they ran really good at Vegas. They ran really good at Phoenix. Um, I thought they were, they were okay at, at Coda. Um, Atlanta obviously is a bit of a wash now, but you know, Richmond obviously very, very strong there as well. So, um, as a whole, I feel like the Chevrolet camp and, and Hendrick Motorsports as a whole has been been strong. Um, you know, for me, we, look, we, we ran Martinsville, then went to Talladega. So, like, you know, we, we were we were okay at, at Martinsville. We certainly weren't anything special. We were really bad there for the majority of the day. But we qualified bad. You know, we qualified bad and put ourselves in a tough spot. And, and uh, you know, you're going to start to see that narrative more, I think, when you qualify bad. It's probably going to set you up for a long day so um yeah you know i i think we're in a good place i just got to get back in the in the rhythm of, of doing this stuff and getting going we're going to go to dustin zach and then mark dustin Albino, uh, chase you mentioned a couple minutes ago that it's still dover it's still got those tendencies um you got the two wins here uh what is it about this place that kind of suits your driving style yeah i don't i don't really know to be to be honest with you, but you know we we ran pretty well here. I felt like on on the Xfinity side too, and um, we've had some really solid runs. You know on on the Cup front. Uh, you know last year probably being one of our better runs, maybe our best run. Um, but yeah, it's it's been a you know been fortunate been fortunate uh, that this place has been a, a solid track for us uh, over the last few years and and look i hope that continues you know we'll we'll see but um i've enjoyed coming up here and you know i, I wish that meant we were gonna guarantee me a good run tomorrow but unfortunately that's not how it goes and then with josh filling in for you those handful of races how do you feel like he did with the team i thought he did great with the team and that you know i, I know that 
not only did I think that from the outside, but then once I got back, everybody enjoyed working with him. And, uh, you know, I think you have to have that dynamic. And, and he's a guy that, uh, you know, he didn't, he didn't say a whole lot, but I, I kind of like that. You know, he, he doesn't. He doesn't talk a ton, but he, he's certainly putting in the effort and putting in the work and and uh, and thinking about things and dissecting what he feels and what you know what he needs to do next. And um, I think he's gonna I think he's gonna continue to to build on that. You know, obviously he's gonna get a few more weeks here now, right? To to run and and I I think that's just gonna make him better and and better and better. So um, I think he'll continue to run well, keep building on like his uh, result at Richmond, I, I think he's going to keep building on those things because he's a guy that he's he's learning a lot in a short period of time, and, and I think he's going to apply that very quickly. We're going to go to Zach, then Mark, and we're going to wrap with Davey. Zach Sterney, at NASCAR.com. Chase, um, do you look at Dover as one of your better opportunities to win uh, in the regular season to safe, more safely secure your playoff position? Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, it's certainly an opportunity. I mean, I, I think uh, when we when we show up properly, I think about any given week can be a good opportunity for us, frankly. But certainly, you know, as I as I referenced a second ago, this has been a good track for us. Does that guarantee tomorrow is going to go good? No, but I certainly hope so. Um, but look, you know, these these races, a lot can happen, and a lot can happen out of your control, and and you got to put it all together on the racetrack, on the pit box, on pit road. Everything, everything has to be perfect. So um, that that's a lot to, to put together, and, and I think it's a bit unfair to throw that all on one day and and you know bet the house on it. Uh, that's just unrealistic. But I, I think that we can go and have a good run here, just like we can go and have a good run next week or the next 15 after that if we show up and do our part. And then you've also, being out of the car this season, you saw Josh get that great result at Richmond. Um, yeah. Now that Alex is in that position, I'm just curious, you know, seeing someone else get such a great, have such a great run in your car, what was what were the emotions of that day? Obviously, you're pulling for your guys to succeed, yeah. right? But um, just as a driver and as the primary driver who's on the sideline, what, what goes through your mind during a moment like that? Yeah, I mean, I, I was really kind of at that point I was I was past the weird space of seeing my car you know my car it's not really my car it's really Rick's car right um, but you know seeing the Napa 9 car go around the track I was kind of past that weird space of it um, and was really just excited to see them do good that they deserve it in my in my opinion and um, I've been telling y'all in here for a long time that that team's really, really good. They make me look a lot better than I really am. So I was hoping that maybe y'all would start to believe me on that over over the period of me being out because it's very true. We'll go to Mark and then wrap with Davey. That's a tough one to follow. Mark Garrow with PRN. Chase, just saw, following up a little bit on Zach's question, do you take more risk? You're obviously, with the medical waiver, top 30 in points, that's going to be a given. So do you take risk to, to win as if you already had a win in your pocket kind of thing? Do you, uh, you know, like Kyle Busch last week, he could take the gamble because he was already, you guys need that win. So is the mentality win and take the gambles necessary or do you keep chopping away at the points and maybe get to the 16th spot? Yeah, I mean, I haven't been keeping up with it closely, but that's, pretty far-fetched I would say I mean even even if we run really well but um, yeah I mean that's a that's a good chunk um, not impossible but you know we'd have to have a summer stretch like we did last year to to do that which was a really good stretch for us um, really our, our mindset is no different this week than it was last week I feel like we we have to win and um, if you're if you're putting yourself in position to win races, I I think it's probably going to work itself out. Um, and on the other side of that coin, if you're not putting yourself in position to win races for the next at least once or twice in the next 16 weeks, then I'd say you're not going to win the championship anyway. So 
does it really matter at the end of the day right i mean it it matters obviously but like when you step back and look at it if you're not in contention at least a couple times i'd say you thinking you have a shot to go win phoenix is probably a little unrealistic all right we'll wrap with davy Davy Siegel with Sirius XM and, and Racer. We hear a lot about the physicality of this racetrack and how it kind of just moves you around in the seat and how you're pretty worn out and whipped after a race here. How much of that physicality is on your, your lower extremities and specifically your leg, how you think that's going to be affected here? I don't, I don't think it will be a whole lot. You know, uh, you know fortunately, my, my knee and just kind of where it sits in the car is in a, is in a really – secure position and even before the injury I the way I kind of had all my stuff set up my left like where my knee is doesn't move uh laterally so or it's designed not to move laterally um at least you know in a, in a normal circumstance obviously crashing could be something different but um so that being said no I, I don't I don't foresee it uh being any more difficult than say a Martinsville or Loudon test where you're using the brakes and, and kind of pushing your car from that perspective. So no, I don't, I could be wrong, but I don't, I don't, I don't anticipate that. And I notice uh, you shaved your stash. Why'd you do that? Yeah. You know, I, I, I what did he say? He said, uh Oh, no, not, not quite. Um, but no, I just, yeah, I woke up the other morning and I was just kind of tired of eating breakfast and having to clean it off. So I went upstairs and took a shower and off it went. That was really, there was that much thought went into it. It was that simple. It was time. And with that, thank you, Chase. Yeah. Good luck this weekend.